Hello everyone. Today I will be reviewing the film Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched, A History of Folk Horror, a movie that screened at the 2021 Fantasia Film Festival. Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched, A History of Folk Horror is directed by Kier Lajanise, written by Kier Lajanise, and stars Kevin Kolsch, Dennis Widmer, Piers Haggard, Alexandra Helen Nicholas, and Alice Lowe. This is a Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched, A History of Folk Horror movie review, and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched, A History of Folk Horror film review, as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon. Link in the description. With a long title and a lengthy runtime, Keir Lajacine's Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched A History of Folk Horror is an absolute tome of genre analysis that more than lives up to its gargantuan suggestions. Using the British horror staples of Witchfinder General, the Blood on Satan's Claw, and the Wicker Man as a jumping-off point, dutifully deemed the Unholy Trinity, Janice lays out the foundations of folk horror with the focus on fears about the past, disconnect with the land, and reckonings with the horrors of colonialism. In all three of these films, Janice and her numerous interview subjects, who range from modern-day horror directors to the original filmmakers themselves, discuss these films' lasting legacies, particularly in how they pushed horror beyond the stuffy prestige of the Hammer label into a more critically visceral look at British society. Woodland's Dark and Days Bewitched explains how Christian supremacy and a disdain for pagan practices is the root cause of these films' fears, but how that too is but an analytical starting point to understand these cinematic worlds rather than their actual promulgated viewpoints. It makes us modern-day viewers look inward and ask why we're so afraid of the old ways and why rural landscapes and isolated forests tend to fill us with such dread. Like all genre and stylistic classifications, folk horror is flexible and fluid, and from the unholy trinity, Janice traces a connecting through line to Hollywood filmmaking, 18th and 19th century American literature, and other cinematic movements the world over. Fears surrounding colonialism imbue the folk horror cinema of the Americas, both in being the conquered and suffering retribution as the conqueror, but so too does religious radicalism, and Woodland's Dark and Days Bewitch thoroughly elucidates how these angles allow us viewers to better comprehend historical violence. For example, many American films that could be classified as folk horror might feature the sacred Indian burial ground as a plot device, arguably to assuage white American viewers' guilt over their ancestors' genocide of the First Nations people. However, that same trope can be used to mystify the First Nations people and demote them solely to stand-ins for their culture's mythologies. Likewise, fear of women has long fed into America's judicial history of misogyny, which in turn has influenced stories of witchcraft that reflect men's base-level irrationalities. But Janice does not stop there, as Woodland's Dark and Days Bewitched bounces around from Europe to Southeast Asia to the Caribbean to Australia, taking the folk horror magnifying lens to every culture that crosses its path. In doing so, the documentary teases forth analysis of hyper-specific folklore, as well as national histories and traumas, and how they all eventually tie back to our connection to the land. Such readings, tinged with gentrification and climate crisis, may explain this modern-day resurgence in folk horror a la Midsummer, the films of Ben Wheatley, and countless other works as a reflection of our growing sense of social, political, and environmental isolation, which explains why the last few minutes of this were one and then something adjective happened, a way for becoming Adam Curtis adjacent. Woodland's Dark and Days Bewitched is an absolute treasure trove of information, and its miracle is how effortlessly engaging Janice presents it. Despite running for more than three hours, the film never drags, flowing seamlessly from one topic to the next on account of co-editors Winnie Chung and Benjamin Sheehan's spectacular sense of pacing. Granted, if you have no interest in horror at all, then you may find this a bit of a drag on principle. But 
If that's the case, one, what's wrong with you? And two, the film and its interviewees have such broad and expansive comprehensions of folk horror that they're bound to pique your interest with at least one overlapping topic, be it history, anthropology, psychology, or whatever else. Towards the end of the film, one of the interviewees even describes folk horror as less of a subgenre and more of a lens, an approach through which to understand a piece of artistic work. It's not a passive experience. It's an applied one, not to mention some worthwhile animation from the iconic Guy Madden, Jim Williams' score, and an otherwise eerie soundtrack really helps spur this film along. The major setback is that, despite it being divided up into six unevenly spaced chapters, the film is so singular and packed with information that it's hard to stop for breathers, which, if you're someone like me who's literally scribbled pages worth of notes and took others' advice to make a list of must-see films from the excerpts, mine is currently over 100, then it might take even longer than 193 minutes to get through with all the starting and stopping you'll be doing to make sure nary a detail is missed. At times, the film is more of a cinematic textbook than it is a documentary narrative but that should give it a long and healthy life for film school students and video essay aficionados on YouTube or some other streaming service that will allow for the consumption of it at one's own leisure. It's the Los Angeles plays itself for the horror crowd, a spooky marvel. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched, a history of folk horror movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comments section. If you liked what you heard during my review, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and you can watch one of these reviews next.